again and I'm able to figure out how does it look like so for a kid for them to be able to recognize and understand what that word is so you must say it slowly flower flower and at times you need to cap it if it's in two syllables like flower 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 right so too yes they can say it again and again repeatedly as long as you want but are you sure that the kid can learn from it by just saying the word learning the english language is more than just reading speaking and writing the language so you must blend it with proper pronunciation application and how about showing something to a kid especially if you're teaching the word for the very first time say flower mm. let's try to look which one is secret flower again flower is it a flower uh oh is it a flower is it a flower hmm. how about is it a flower flower Ching. flower 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 yes so from there the kid will enable to hear the correct sound pronunciation and able to figure out how does a flower look like so now that's that we're done making pop props and words from old stuff we can go ahead now and use those to teach the words flower and garden and to answer also what are you doing in the garden i'm watering the flowers in the garden so let's begin with using those pop props